what is going on, my wonderful people. Buhari should have punished Wike, FFK, Fayoshi, Bishop Koka, others. Uh, Adeshino declares. If you know Adeshino, I'm, I'm wondering, asking, Madam, who is Adeshino? Femi Adeshino is one of the spokesperson to our President Muhammad Buhari. Mm, that's that's the person you're talking about, and um, he has been employed to ensure to see to it that you know Buhari, you know, looks good. And uh, no matter what is going on with Nigerians, no matter what is going on, what Nigerians think, you know, uh, he, he, he is accepted, What no matter what happens. Anyway, my wonderful people, remember that it's up to you and I to ensure that change, you know, becomes our watchword and, you know, it, it stands and it's supposed to be what we all should be envisaging and looking forward to. You know, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. President Muhammad Buhari, special advisor on media and publicity, Femi Adishino, has said that his principles should have punished his critics in the last seven years, but chose not to do so. Let Nigeria understand that Nigerian president will be 80 years of age on Saturday, December the 17th, 2022, as provided by him. Reflecting on Buhari's leadership since he assumed office in 2015 after defeating the People Democratic Party candidate and then President Goodluck Ebele Jonathan at the polls, Adeshino said the incumbent leader has proven to be a large hearted man who has no malicious bone or malice bone in his body. The All Progressive Congress APC chieftain showered praises on his principle in the latest publication to celebrate Buhari's 80th birthday celebration and anniversary. According to additional, President Buhari should have punished the likes of Femi Fanikayode, who is now in APC, Bishop Matthew Koka, the governor of River State Yesom Wike, and others. But the Daryl man was still accommodative of them due to his kind heartedness. Additional began his writing thoughts. Let me state with let me start with a story by the unrepentant critics of one of our president of our former president. There was no love lost between the two. No, not at all. And the anticipation was mutual. That former president is rather a forceful personality and loves to have his way. It's neither his it's either his way or no way. One day he will still occupy the presidential villa. Some group of people were invited to pay a visit. The on Bertrand Craig clergy was among them. The president was shaking his guest one after the other and because it was a breakfast meeting he had a cup of tea in his hands you know what he did he when he saw that his adversaries was next in line he separated the teacup and the sauce holding one in watch each hand so he couldn't shake the next person pretending that his hands were full when he got to the next person, he returned the teacup into the saucer and gave the person a handshake. And willing man have cleverly avoided someone he considers an enemy. This story came to mind as I reflect on Buhari's 80th birthday on December the 17th, 2022. This is a man I have served for almost eight years and it never ceased to baffle me how his large heartedness, particularly to those who have arrayed themselves, against him and how he responds to them when they meet it's amazing it's truly amazing we cannot begin to imagine what exactly is going on here we must work at it and ensure that we bring this country to where it ought to be additional says nigerians must ensure they put things in order because this man has done well for them and continue to do well this man sincerely loves the nation and this man wants to make this nation a better place if you have a rival sharing the same position with you what would you do however buhari has left all of them the likes of the likes of wiki ffk fresh fire she bishop coca additional uh, says all these persons have criticized Buhari who they do not know. 
So welcome, my people. Welcome again and welcome again. Femi Adesino is his name. Femi Adesino is the name of the young man who, in his own opinion, feels very strongly that Buhari should have punished some people or done something to them and ensure that um, they regret the consequences of their action. He said, well, but Buhari did not do so because Buhari is a large-hearted person, according to him. He said, Buhari has done well. Eh, Buhari has done very well. And those who are criticizing Buhari, eh, the likes of uh, uh, the likes of Wiki, the likes of uh, he said, but uh, Lushego Basanjo, did you see the contrast? What he was saying? So Lushego Basanjo is a man who is forceful, who wants to have this addition. He will get himself in big trouble. Is so Lushego Basanjo? He was, you know, uh, you know, he was paralleling with uh, with Buhari, saying Lushego Basanjo wanted to shake people, and because um, he did not want to shake their hands, he pretended like he was holding the teacup and the saucer. And when he has passed the person he perceived as an enemy, he now returned them back and shook the next person. Again and again, I keep telling you guys, please don't be alarmed, don't be dismayed. Femi Adishino. Uh, or Femi Fanika Yode, as the case may be, these are men that are working for their money and they are paid, it's paid job, okay? So they are doing exactly what they are being paid to do. They are not just doing it because they want to do it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. They're making a huge mistake. That's not the case. They are being paid. And so they have to look, make Buhari look good by hook or by crook, whether you like it or not. Or not. He said that uh, when, when uh, uh, you know, the rest of them were criticizing Buhari and was saying all kinds of things, that Buhari did not do that. On the contrary, Buhari was different. And you can see that um, Buhari difference shines through. Well, again and again, Nigerians were being enjoined to ensure that we do not allow, you know, things that will keep us, you know, in this very despair situation where we are today. Femi Adishino, no matter what happened, in fact, these are people that will tell you that ah, in the time of good luck, Billy Jonathan, it used to be, for instance, 10 bombs, but now it's now five that Buhari is doing well. Do you understand? So they don't see anything wrong in the fact that Buhari came in and a lot of persons supported him because, you know, they felt he was a former military man. He was sincere about the country being, you know, being changed, being helped, being, you know, bringing back the country to the glory days. But he came there and he went to sleep, delegating duties, just like we can see Ashiwa Jome Bola Tinubu. Even not yet a president has started already. You presented a paper. You were, be, you were to be asked a question. What did you do? You delegated the question, so you are doing teamwork. Excuse me. Is the teamwork going to work and ensure that uh, Nigerians get the best of benefits from this leadership? Because what is wrong is wrong. There is no other name for it. What is wrong is wrong. Is there any other name for it? No. You don't compromise on what is wrong. If it's wrong, that's what it is. It's wrong. So these are some of the things happening and why again and again we must all, you know, see to it that um, we are rising up to the occasion and we are not allowing things to remain the same way they are. Eh? Every single one of us must ensure that uh, we, we do everything, humanly speaking, possible, okay, to change this nation. Bye for now.